Hey everybody, this is your girl, Jalisa McRae, official fan page. And I just want to give y'all the secret to my press on nails. How to go from pretty much this. This is how the nails come. Just a clear nail to this. Blinged out, glammed out, 3D, spinning, all of that. Nails. Okay, so first and foremost, you're going to need some, any kind of base coat. Um, this is not a gel polish. This is just some regular glitter polish that I got from the dollar store. Um, you're going to need this little nail fountain thing. What you call them? The little nail, whatever. It's like the little nail stands. You're going to need that. You're going to need Loctite, and this is what it looks like. Sit back right now. The Loctite is what's gonna stick the nails to the little nail stand, as you can see. Um, I purchased these diamonds off of Amazon. They were seven nine for this pack. It has like big, the big diamonds have that in there, and it has like all these little bitty stones. But they come in like a clear plastic bag. But I just put them in this case for the sake of this video and. I ordered these little spinning things off of AliExpress for like $2.99. I believe they were $2 or $3.99. I got some alcohol that I put into this bottle because after you put your gel coat on there and the diamonds on there, you're going to need to spray them with alcohol so they won't be sticky. Okay, and then you're going to need this gummy jelly. I hope I'm not going too fast for y'all, but you can always pause the video. I just want to do a quick video, put it out there. It's not hard at all to do press on nails. Um, this is Shine E, okay? You're gonna use that with your gummy jelly. These two came together. I ordered these off of eBay. Okay, now my son, Alan, is gonna hold the camera. Well, oh, and you're gonna need a LED lamp. You're gonna need an LED lamp, okay? I got this off of Wish years ago. I ordered me a new one off of Amazon, though. Um, but it's just pretty much for 30 seconds. You're gonna need a nail file for when you get ready to put them on your hand. Um, these are the little pickup sticks that came with the, this is the pickup stick that came with the little, um, this, that little organizer, diamond organizer thing. The diamonds came with this organizer, this pickup stick, and it came with tweezers, these tweezers right here. That's all it came with. And, um, you can also get this Loctite off of Amazon. I know millions of people have made videos about these nails, but I'm telling you, these guys are so good. That EC Basket nails, they are so good. The reason why I say they're so good is because you do not need acrylic. You do not need acrylic with these. They come out of the pack strong, long and strong, long and strong. So again, I'm gonna get my son to hold the camera right there. Thank you, baby. Hold it right there. Okay, so. First, to go from the clear nail to this, all you do, and move my hand out of the way. Is my hand in the way? You may need to stand on the other side. What you think? No? Okay. You just take this nail and just polish it. Now, if you want to buff it, if you want to buff the nail, it's on you. But you do not have to buff the nail, okay? I just take this glitter polish and I just put it all over it. It don't even have to be perfect because it's just going under diamonds anyway. But I just put enough glitter on there. When I feel like it's enough glitter, there you have it. But I just stuck this glitter on to this stick just to show you like if you didn't have um the little nail stands you can also use the loctite just to get on the pencil and you can do it as well now me personally i always make um five extra five extra glitter nails just in case one of them pop off because these are press-ons again these are press-ons so um, if one of the press on was to pop off, oh baby, that's a good shot. If one of the press on was to pop off, then I will have these extra just in my purse or whatever in a little bag somewhere that I could just pop right on and keep on moving. Now, this is an old makeup brush that I used to have. This is just an old makeup brush that I use, and 
you can make it up some, like 20 downwards. But this is the old makeup brush that I used to use back in the day and I no longer use it anymore. So, to go ahead and get started, I'm just gonna show y'all quick, quick, quick how to do the press on nails, okay? So, first and foremost, I'm gonna use my gummy jelly. I'm gonna set this here. And then I'm gonna use my e-shine polish, okay? So, I just take me, just dip in, dip me just a little bit. I don't know if y'all can tell what that is in that, but just get you a little bit of that gum and jelly and put it right on the nail. What you doing, baby? I'm making this all the focus on the nail. Okay, put it right on the nail. You may need to back up some, because I can't even see. You got to keep the nail in the frame, okay? Thank you, sir. Yeah, this is my first video, but I figure I didn't know if I was going to post it or not, but I got to figure out, like, what's going to be the best angles for when I do my videos. And Because, see, my arm oh, in the picture, so I might, you might need to stand on the other side. It might be easier. Yeah. Oh, yes, honey. That's better already. I think so, because I'm, I'm right-handed, right-handed. I use I'm right hand dominant. Here you go, baby. Why do you need to chill? I'm not gonna be doing this long, I promise. When this gets to about 15 minutes, we're gonna cut the video off, okay? But just make sure your finger's not above the arm. Oh, that's perfect. So maybe I need to get me a stand. Maybe I need to get me a stand that's gonna be like right here for this angle. Okay, I'm gonna get me some of this E Shine polish. Get me some of this E shine and I'm gonna put it right on top. Right on top of that gel polish. Y'all, I'm telling you, you just put it right on top. Right on top of that gel polish. On that, pay attention, baby. Look, on that gummy jelly. And then I already have my diamonds picked out because I knew exactly what um, I wanted to go for. So, this is my other pinky nail. So, I know they're not going to look like twins, but they can at least, oops, they can at least look related. See? So, that's my other pinky nail. So, I'm going to use this as my guide. I'm going to, um, this is my pickup tool. I'm going to use it and put it on the nail. Like that, and then I'm gonna grab another diamond and I'm gonna stick it on the nail like this. And then what I do is you can zoom in some so that they can see back up. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. Now, I am not a nail tech, so that means I am not a nail tech, so that means it's not gonna be perfect, but hey. You doing your nails at home, we're on quarantine. So we have to figure this thing out, ladies, how to save some money when we got all this time on our hands. So I did that nail with only like these little bitty tiny ones. So I'm just gonna put those all over. Stop, Papa. Keep it in the frame. Stop, you ain't gotta tap that. Um. I use all small ones on this one. And this wax tool, it picks it up so easy. So, so easy. And you're just going to put those all over the pinky nail. Thank you for helping me. Ellie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said I was going to do this video all the way, like, do one nail all the way through so y'all could just see the process. Because everybody always asking me, who does your nails, who does your nails, who does your nails? Baby girl, the truth is, I do because I used to, be still, baby. I used to spend so much money at the nail shop. And not to hate on the nail shops or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I get it. But at the same time, you have to do what's best for you and your family. And in 2020, y'all... We can save a lot of money. Can you be still, please? Your arms can die. 
Are they really? No. <laughs> you can save a lot of money by DIYs, doing it yourself. And you cannot mess up with glitter. Glitter and diamonds, you cannot mess up with that. See? Now, the only thing about the wax stick I don't like is that it leaves like a little small white residue on the diamond. But that's all cool. It's all good. So what we're going to do is check the size of the diamond to make sure ain't no diamonds hanging off. Always make sure there's no diamonds hanging off on the sides. I need to put one on this side right here. Can you back up just a little bit? Because you're too close. Not you. The camera, baby. Oh, I thought it was my I'm glad you caught it, honey. I need to put some diamonds on this side. Be still, baby, so they can see. Sorry. I gotta get me a stand. Sorry, mom. What you sorry about? It's all right. I just gotta figure out what'll be the best way. But there you go. That's the nail. So now we're gonna zoom out and we're gonna sit it right here. I'm gonna put it up under this lamp. This is the lamp. I'm gonna put it under the lamp for 30 seconds. And we're just gonna let that bake. And, then, and this is what I did for all the nails i got this little lamp right here off of wish.com it took about three months to come now i don't know i don't remember how long it took but i remember it taking a long time because i had forgot i had it but like i said i done had this thing about two three years so it is worth it so i let it sit under there and what mm -mm 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 -mm. you can't hear i said mm -mm. put it back but i let it sit under the lamp for about 30 seconds and then when it go off you turn it right back on but anyways i've been had this little lamp about two three years so it's been pretty good and i have no complaints and that's pretty much how you do the nails y'all that's my process that's how i do all my nails so while that one is baking let's do the other one come on Hold the camera. all right while that's baking we're gonna do one more just so if you miss it like you didn't get it on the first go around we're going to do it one more time. Okay, so we're going to take our little brush. We're going to dip it in the gummy jelly. Back it up so that I can see how much I get. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're so sweet. Dip it in there. Get you a good little bit. We're just going to put that on now. And don't be shy with it. You don't have to use a lot, but don't be shy with it, honey. Use it. You bought that stuff? Use it. Honey, use it. A little bit more. I like to put a, a nice little coat on mine. Oh, y'all can see that real good. I like to put a nice little coat on mine, honey. And then I take the e shine. Show me e shine. E shine. Oh, yeah. All right. Get back on that. And then I put it directly on top. You notice I didn't set the, the uh, gel or nothing. I just put it right on top. Because that e-shine is like a little shrink wrap. It's going to shrink them. Okay, thank you. Come back to the nail. It's going to shrink shrink them diamonds right onto that nail once I put it in the um thing. So, the next one is this one. So, I'm going to use this diamond right here. I'm gonna use this diamond. Mm -hmm. That's cute. That is too cute. But like I said, don't worry about that white residue that's on there because at the end of the process, I spray my nails down with alcohol. And once you spray it down with alcohol to get that like that extra residue out, that white stuff gonna come right on off. And I just take my diamonds and I just put them all over the nail, y'all. And this one, I'm going to fill it up. Can you back up some good little blurry or something? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. And sometimes the way it's the like it don't want to pick up, just wipe it off on your paper towel. See? Wipe it off on your paper towel, it go right back on them. And it's pretty much the gist of it. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's my first video. And 
Um, I'm going to keep going. Let's keep going. Let's finish this nail out. And that's pretty much it. You have to have patience to do your nails like this, honey. What? I'm not sure you did that, Tom. Yeah. yeah. Red bottom shoe with all them things on it. And then I think you wear them two times that almost all of them fell off. No. Uh-huh. Them diamonds, they never come off. They never did? Mm-mm. Huh. That must have been a different All right. Shoe. Keep it back. Keep it about the video. No. That shoe never. Them diamonds never came off that shoe. I put them on with that E6 size. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's keep it about the nails, okay? Thank you, though. And you just take it and fill in all the spots. And these diamonds are different sizes. I don't know if I said that. I don't know if you cannot tell. But these diamonds are definitely different sizes. Okay? They are different sizes. So you just use the smaller ones to fill in those. So I'll you back up some. Like, make sure you look at the video so you can tell. Lord, this video all over the place. It's all right. Filling all the spots. And I will list all of the products that I use down below. Now, ladies, you don't have to use the same exact diamonds that I use. You don't have to use the same exact gel that I use because I know that gummy jelly can be on the expensive side compared to other ones that I have seen. But these two nails right here have been on my hand for the last, ooh, Three, four weeks, baby. They ain't moved. Okay? I've been trying to take them off. That's why they got diamonds missing. I've been trying to get them off my hand, but they will not release. So, now you have to pay attention to your diamonds. See how them diamonds are twisted and stuff like that? Just pay attention to your diamonds. This is a learning process for, for us all. Just letting y'all know it's not just showing y'all it is not hard it is not hard at all to um to do this it's not hard at all to do this not at all and you don't have to use as many as i use but i like to fill the nail up y'all i like to fill it up like i like to feel like i'm going somewhere and this is just gonna be Ooh, honey. That look pretty good. I'm gonna put some more on this side right here. Mm-hmm. That look good. That's not a diamond that's split up, but we're gonna put one on this side right here. That look good. That look good. I just don't like it when it look crooked. Like, wait a minute. I gotta straighten you out, buddy. There you go. Like I said, don't worry about the right, the white, white residue that's on the diamonds because when you spray it with the alcohol, it's gonna definitely come off. So now we're gonna take it and we're gonna go right up under the lamp the lamp baby and here's the other one this is what the other one looked like coming straight out this is without the light it's just it's just pretty just so pretty and then this is what I meant when I said spray it with alcohol so just gonna put on the nail can you find the nail turn the light back on just gonna spray the, the nail with alcohol like that and rub it down with whatever you want to rub it down with. You can rub it. You can rub it down with alcohol. Um, use alcohol, but you can rub it down with a paper towel. Or me, I choose to let my air dry. I choose to let my air dry. Okay. But I am very, very, very excited about this set. Um, if you use my process, it's all good. Um, and this is what your nails will end up looking like. And I'm telling you, it is so much cheaper to just do it yourself. Just make sure if you use the gummy jelly, 
and use that process and your nails will last forever thank you again for watching my video this is your girl Jalisa McRae official fan page and I was just trying to help a sister out or, or a brother out to each his own honey talk to y'all later make sure y'all subscribe